Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. We are back. Mm-hmm. I'm Spencer Cardia. I'm Pororo, the little penguin. Oh, okay. well, hello there, Pororo, the little penguin. And this is Frank, who I'm increasingly beginning to believe his favorite color is blue. I feel like he's always wearing blue. Um, he I was loves all colors. S- I was going to say blue is the most popular color, but no, that's green, right? Like the most prevalent color. In the environment? Like, yeah, out there. Out there, yeah. I think the, blue, the many shades. Blue is actually a rare color in painting, like old oh. old painting. You'd have to make pigments. Mm-hmm. And um, what was the blue? It was like a azul. 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 Azul sounds right. Yeah, no, it's like well, that la, la, lapis, lapis azul. Oh, lapis I think azul. was like a color of blue that it was like very expensive. Yes. So expensive. Like My this. mom had jewelry with lapis azul. Like yeah, yeah, so um, it was a rare color rare so yeah um how's it going guys how have you been it's been the whole 24 hours since i last saw you on the on the um, wednesday podcast yes about being paid did you guys pay it forward did you pay it backwards <laughs> I, p- <laughs> I pay it backwards i'm like can you charge the yeah, person right, right, right. You'll for just, me someone else will make up all you know yeah <laughs> make up for all my mistakes <laughs> today's august 12th august 12th ever heard of it yes i have because it is the feast day of St. Clair of Assisi. I know someone else from Assisi. Do you? St. Francis. And guess what? What? They were friends. What? Yeah. They kicked it? They were friends. Um, Imagine just you and your friends both just saints. I know. Saint friends? Saint friends. My friends are all in jail. <laughs> and they're your, Claire's over here just hanging out with other A saints. A lot of saints were in jail, by the way. True. So that's not a problem. And they didn't know they were saints at the time. You don't no. know until it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you know when it's most important. Yes. Um, actually, he was a full-fledged, important... Um, we're talking about Francis now. Francis, yeah. a spiritual figure. And she went to him and said, I want to give up all my riches, all mm. my inheritance, all my hair. You know, you get your hair cut before you, mm. before you put on the habit. Habit. I have a bad habit of forgetting what a habit is. Yes. Um, and so he... He actually, so it's not like they went into it together. He was, he was like her mentor. He was her mentor for real. So when you think, you always hear, and I don't, I never know how to say it from last time to this time, if it's a CC uh, or a sissy, but today is St. Clair. ACC. <laughs> St. Clair. And that's a Catholic feast day, but a national day is Drum National roll. Middle Child Day. That's me. Wait, guys, I have a question. Is and it? I have a right. question. <laughs> And I want you down in the com. I want you so quickly to run down to the comments, pause the video, and, and and write something. So here we go. Okay. There's four siblings in my family. Yes. There is my two brothers, me, and my sister. Right. If anyone knows quick math, that means there's no middle. It's four. There's four. Some people would say you'd say two children in the middle. Right. Some people would say no children in the middle. Right. Sorry, it's just not how it works. Now here's where it gets tricky, guys. So listen up. I have a younger sister. Yeah. I have two older brothers. Yeah. The older brothers are twins. So it goes to me, sister. Right. Are we lumping the twins together as like there's only three births? Right. I was the middle birth. You were. You were. So if it wasn't for the fact that someone hijacked my brother's birth, <laughs> I would be the, I, I would be the middle child. You got pregnant three times, and I was the middle one. Right? Am I the middle child? I don't know. I don't know either. Are we counting? So the twins are one minute apart, but they're also fraternal, which changes things a bit. Which changes things a bit. Fraternal twins. Fraternal twins are when twins. I'll explain twins for you guys. And why not? There's two types of twins. There's identical twins, and what happens is when um, the egg is is um, fertilized, it splits into two. Yeah post-fertilization and so you get two of the exact same person a clone if you will now fraternal twins is there was two eggs and both eggs get fertilized so for lack of better words you are brothers that were born at the same time right you have you have no twin like abilities you're just brothers both individual eggs individual fertilizations right and birth at the same time so that's also another thing to, to right. test that plays in a part on whether or not I am the middle child. And to go further than that. Okay. A lot of middle children have middle children problems. Yeah. 
well, like they have. No, like, I'm saying like uh, so, so, No, yeah, like you, you can all you can all say, ah, uh, you went through that. You're a middle child, right? My brothers both were held back in the age of eight, third, third grade, grade, third mm-hmm. grade, and therefore they sorry we're we're only sixteen months months apart, right? Barely over a year. And so we were raised at the exact same age. Like triplets. Like triplets. People thought you were triplets. People thought we were triplets. Yeah. So my question to you, and this is where I want you to pause and go down. Am I allowed to consider myself a middle child? Right. Because I consider myself the oldest. <laughs> so that's where so it gets... it's totally different. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's where it even gets tricky. Or, but I don't know. Do you have an answer? Because I really don't. It is. That is complex. It's, it's a little complex. It's complex. Mm-hmm. I'm from six. Okay. And I'm number four. Okay. So you're middle. Three and four, but but I was if, so if you are going to do that, so I would say there's no middle. You know, but if if we're going to do middle, I'm going to have to share with number three, right? Yeah, I'm right. Share with number three, but it's not at all as complex as what you're going. Yeah, mine's because yeah, you're clear cut. It's like I have older, I have younger. I'm somewhere in the middle, and and basically this one's like two and a half years older than me, and this one's two and a half years younger than me. You know, so we're just kind of like spaced equally in yeah. an equal number of children. Yeah. This is way different. It's way different, guys. And I need you. You do. I need your help. Like, if you go to the middle child convention, convention will they be like... Well, they say, what are you doing here? Yeah. You're the oldest. Okay. <laughs> Why would you ever be the oldest? Uh, Maturity-wise. You're the youngest boy. I'm the youngest boy. That's the other thing. There's three boys, one girl. We're all boys together. Bro, I don't know. Matching outfits. <laughs> Still, to this day. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Either. But a uh, shout out to all the middle children out there. Um, yeah. Middle children, the, like the consensus is they have it the hardest. The oldest child is like the first and the youngest child's a baby. And then they're just like there. It's weird. They've done studies, right? And it was um, birth order. And at the time, so I don't think people cared before, but then they did studies and it was like birth order. And what mm-hmm. you're saying, this one feels they have to be the leader. The baby gets, the youngest gets coddled. coddled. The middle is ignored. But I do believe years later they came out and said, like, eh, we don't really know if that's true. Because like you just said, you feel like you're the oldest. <laughs> um, but yeah, let us know. What are and you? that used to happen in my family. My sister. Who, who do you think is the oldest in my family? Who do I think? Kelly. Right. It's Patrick. Oh. Uh, so people always thought uh, that because she was more serious. She was more studious. Yeah. He and granted, they were only 11 months apart. But um, so people think Kelly's the oldest. No. So therefore, what's going on? What's going on? What's really what's going on with family dynamics? <laughs> and I think we should get to the bottom of it. Yeah. Or to the middle of it. Or to the middle <laughs> of it. Um, yeah. Let, what are you? Down in the comments below. Are you the youngest? Yeah. Are what's you, your birth order? What's your birth order? How many how many sibs do you have? Yeah. What's the, num- what's the number of sibs? Um, so I don't know. Should you, if you have three children, should you give the middle? Should you make a conscious effort to... Have alone time with this middle child? Or? If you have five children, or no, if you have four children, should you have another one just so you don't confuse the two middle ones? <laughs> should you always have odd number of children to yeah, always you know make it like make it as easy as it can be right. to let someone know they're the middle child? When I had four children, I was happy because those four children had two parents and we both had two hands. So I thought <laughs> if we were ever crossing a busy intersection, everyone would have a hand. Oh, <laughs> until one of you guys lost your hands and then you'd have to pick your least favorite child and get rid of them all right taken to a different place <laughs> but um anyway guys it's thursday yes. ah man the best day of the week the best day of the week the best day of the week um you're leaving again i'm leaving again. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get the t- part of the the video where you said i'm not leaving anymore <laughs> yeah i think actually in the last christian meme review i said i'm not leaving okay don't worry you can count on seeing me you're next giving week. all of our viewers insecurity you know like when a parent is like yeah they're you leaving? They're, they're sitting on their stoop <laughs> yeah. with their little backpack waiting for the christian yeah. meme review yeah. guys i'm sorry i'm a busy guy it's august that's the that's the month of busyness yeah and so i'm going down to florida yeah. poor me I first know. of all nobody's looking out and saying can spencer mentally handle another right. vacation yeah <laughs> maybe i can't <laughs> now this is business mm-hmm. strictly business i'm going down to florida just for the weekend just for the weekend um and yeah maybe i'll get a little fun in the sun maybe i'll enjoy the weather and the surfing and the girls but it's not about that guys it's about the spirituality and that's it's what- about spreading the word of god yes yeah, so that's what i'm doing just by being a nice person. Just a nice person. And paying it forward. Paying it forward. <laughs> I'm, maybe, I don't know, maybe, I'm going to 
on this trip, I'm don't pay pressure for it. yourself about it. You know, I can't believe I just said that. You're gonna panic, and I don't. I can't even know <laughs> I what pay the story for will be. Everyone in yeah. the line. I don't know what's gonna happen. You're gonna uh, call me so like I'm bankrupt. There used to be um, a Western Union Union commercial, <laughs> and um, so they were given different examples of why you would need someone to Western Union you money. This yeah. is before Venmo or anything like that, where you were stuck, and they would they would they had one like a guy it, like everyone's calling home, and they're like. Smokey clocked me doing 40 or something, you know, mm. and, and you have to pay. And different reasons why I need you to wire me money. Um, you will be like, I paid it forward so many times. I paid it forward. It was a bus behind me. Yeah. <laughs> I paid for 30 yeah, high, it was, schools, it was, um, high school track stars. Right, exactly. <laughs> and you need me to Western Union. I can't say it. And Union. I wonder, is it is it suffering because of Venmo? I'm sure it's gone because of Venmo. Really? It's not just Venmo. Even like... Um, through banks and stuff now like actual big bank institutions use zelle i believe which is like the bank certified one so it's like bank of america is partnered with it and so is chase and um wells fargo and so it goes through and they so they always try to push it like yeah you just use this so that we get the extra little i'm going to without any research go out on a limb and say it's it does still exist yeah I'm, I'm sure because it does still. the people who don't have bank cards or like you need for Venmo, for Cash App, whatever, you need to, to put in uh, your bank card. Yeah. And what you're talking about, you need to belong to that bank. Yeah. Um, I was on Broad Street yesterday and I saw a, a, a dollar store and it said exact change only. And I thought. Well, I think that's more for the, um, there was a big coin shortage. Oh. And for during the summer, it was like, had to do with COVID because no one was spending cash. And um. I think a lot of the stores still have the signs up, but I remember there was like a good month there where like they'd well, walk in. It proves in. that people are using real money and not plastic no. cards. The proof was in the pudding that there's not that much real money being circulated. And so they're like, we don't even have change anymore because the, the cash people do have, that is not true, using. But it also means that not everyone, why would they even care about exact change or coins if everyone was using their bank cards? Because yeah, yeah, there are you, people not using bank cards. Well, yeah, obviously. So I mean, they need Western Union. <laughs> okay, shout out Western Union. They're actually our sponsor for today's video. Hello. Um, if ever you don't have Venmo or Zelle or a credit card or Apple Pay, Spencer will Western Union you money. I will <laughs> personally Western Union you money as soon as I know even how that works. What do you go to CVS? When you see stores, um, you'll <clears> see the Western Union sign on the door, and that means go in there, give them your money. They'll send it to the next Western Union location near your friend. Your friend will go in and say, I'm waiting for uh, someone just sent me money. And they'll, they'll look. They're taking money, obviously. Too confusing, guys. That's just use not Ven confusing. Use Venmo. I'm gonna link it's my like a money fax machine. I'm going to link. Yeah. Who, who uses a fax machine? <laughs> You've just exactly proved the point. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll link my Venmo down below if you want to um, send me money. Yeah. For your trip. Yeah. I have a big old um, business trip coming up. Or your address if you want a postcard. Yeah, send me your address and I'll come and knock knocking for money. No, you will send them a postcard. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. I have postcard stamps. Yeah, so if you want a postcard, DM us your address. You know there's <laughs> that postcard sounds, stamps? That sounds like a, a, a scam waiting to but happen. But it's not. Well, it's not a scam. I'm saying you, you can't. If someone told you this isn't a scam, what's the first thing you think? It's a scam. <laughs> <laughs> um, you scamp. But yeah, guys. Hey, you know what day it is today? Are we dancing <laughs> it's walk, walk through thursday through thursday it's walk through thursday it's not walk through wednesday like you always like to well push. it's scribbled out on this on the graphic so that's what makes me get mixed up it's walk through thursday frank um roll the intro yeah welcome back hope you're having fun because walk through wednesday just begun What's up, guys? It is Walkthrough Thursday. Thank you for being here. I don't even, I explain it every week, but I just think people know by now. Yeah. But if you don't know. And yet I have to explain people's names. If you don't know, I'll tell you what it is. Walkthrough Thursday is the day we open up the Bible. Bible's open. Frank, shut your mouth. Don't say any bad things when the Bible's open. Whilst the Bible's open, we pick a verse. We pick a story, we pick a line, and we break it down. Chicka, 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 break it down. Yeah. Sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word, letter by letter, 
vocal cord <laughs> bend by vocal cord wow. bend. That's new this week. <laughs> <laughs> and the idea is we slow it down. Instead of just telling a whole story paraphrased, instead of just telling an idea, a parable, oh, let's skip past it. We, we look at something small and we try to get the deeper meaning. Our mm. deeper meaning might be different than your deeper meaning, but we just talk about the deeper meaning of each word and what it means to you. Can I get an amen? Amen. And so without further ado, we're just going to get into it this week. We're just going to get into the verse, which I don't know what it is, because that's well, part of should, the because fun. I know. It's usually part of it. It's usually a secret, but yesterday we... Yesterday we did bring up that we wanted to talk about Jesus dying for our sins. Go check out the Pay podcast, but you have to pay for it. <laughs> um, pay per podcast. Yeah, and so we were talking about Jesus paying for our sins, and then we're like, we should talk about that. And we're like, how do we save it for a walk through Thursday, and we'll get a verse, and we'll break that verse down. Right. We'll break it down. Down. So everyone says that um, Jesus paid for your sins. It's constant. You've heard it. Paid um, in full by Jesus. Yeah. Oh, Jesus paid for your sins. But then, and you just accept it and you understand what it means in English. But then you think to yourself, well, wait, where does it say that? Um, because you, you, you get the whole idea. Yeah. But where does it say Jesus paid for your sins? And, yeah. and that was the hard part because there's lots of places where it's the idea of it. It's the idea. So... You know, because it wasn't, he didn't write a check and, you know, he he died for our sins yeah. and it's just the way that you talk. So it was a little confusing. Um, so instead, uh, I picked these two verses that say the exact same thing in the Gospels of... Um, oh, yes. Oh, Mark and Timothy. But Timothy oh, no, is... No, no. I, I, guess what? I copied the wrong thing. Oh. <laughs> it's supposed to be Matthew and Mark. Mark, Matthew is the same exact thing. Oh, so why did you even print them both out? Matthew and Mark, for some reason, I have Timothy on there because for whatever reason, but it's the same exact line. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, they're all they're all about the same story. And so some of the, like, even though sometimes they're different worded. Right. Sometimes they're very worded correctly. So here we have Mark 1045. Ever heard of it? You're about to. You're about to hear about it. <clears throat> For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Right. So since, like I said, there's so many ways you could go with it about how much did Jesus pay? Who did Jesus pay? How did Jesus pay himself? Because Jesus is God. Yeah. Um. So uh, a few different places tell you, why don't you start with the word ransom? Because it's kind of like we were being held for ransom and, and yeah. you know, is if but, or not. But anyway, so when I did that, um, we found the... So, go ahead. So, ransom. To give his life as a ransom for many. So, the question is, I guess... The question was... The question is... Is and was and it will always and will be. always be. Why did Jesus have to die... For us to be saved. Why was that the price? Why was that the price? Payment for of this payment. And he's saying that um, that he did because that's a story of Jesus talking to the apostles. Um, now there's other if you if you type in uh, ransom and payment and paying, like I said, there's many um, biblical verses that would talk about this payment, and that's because. No man on earth could ever pay for another man's life. Yeah. It's it's not money. It's not even any... It's not in our realm of um, possibility Yeah, as a human being. Mm. Um, so what is this business of Jesus paying for our sins? But if he's paying his father, he is the father. Well, so that's the question. So what was he paying for of us that needed to be saved? Because he loves us so much and we, he, and we could never... We had done so much that could never be undone according to the old testament yes so from what i understand it all stems from original sin mm -hmm. and original sin was eve and adam mm -hmm. eating the apple of knowledge and from then on we've carried around the burden of that uh, that choice that decision and so we've we are, have lived in a flawed world right we're not in the garden of eden and all that. And then, you know, everything in the Old Testament happened. And then Jesus came to fulfill the prophecy right. of the Old Testament. And part of it was he had he had to go through the life in human form. Right. 
to experience it from that way. I might be butchering this, but the idea is that sacrifice of himself for us, that unconditional love, w- paid the price of that original sin that we did. Right. So the the payment wasn't like to the devil or like... That's a question. So some, if you Google it, like I said, you don't have to Google Bible verses to find out what they mean. Um, it's, it's what it means to you. But if you yeah. do happen to, um, that's one of the questions. Did he have... Did, did God have to pay for us to not to go to hell? Yeah. Like, what is yeah, this? It's like, it, this wasn't like Mm-mm. we got arrested and he had to come bail us out. The, the, it's, it goes sort of to the, like, forgiveness in a way. It, it right. was like he's paying the price for us, for us. Right. Paying the price for what we did for us to be with him. And it was like, like you said, humans, we didn't, we weren't, a- you're not able to pay, um, such a price right and it just goes to the unconditional love of i love you so much right and it goes to trying to speak to someone who doesn't speak your language Mm. and trying to make a message that will last for all time yeah so you can't speak god's language and we can't and he can't speak to us in 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 there's not there's not words enough in any language about the love of God as yeah. for us, and and the lengths that He would go to for His children, mm-hmm. and for the story to last to comfort the people far into yeah. the future, and to comfort people who feel that they're long they're they're long gone lost. You know, people say, "Oh, I can't if I go to church, I'll get struck by lightning," or yeah. <laughs> you know, something like you know how they say this, um, or you think, "Not me, not me." You don't know what I've done. Yeah, these kind of things. I just feel there is no words that can be written. There's no speech that could be given that would say what that was, which transforming into a human being, being, um, you know, humiliated and yeah. tortured and, and dot and to die. Mm-hmm. I feel like it was such a, especially um, the time that it came because people usually look back at the old Testament to mm-hmm. say, Jesus is mad. Uh, sorry, God is mad. God is angry. Yeah. God, God's going to leave you to the vultures. Yeah. This, this act of love. Yeah. No, he's not. Exactly. Yeah, I think that's that's a big part of it is, is this act of love and and forgiveness to a people who, the people themselves are the ones who humans themselves are the ones who crucified him and it I, it was such a message of of uh, this is not a. Yeah, follow, bend the knee, but follow me. It's like, how do you love someone so much to go through that? Right. And in an act of forgiveness and an act of love, in an, a, 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 in a payment to the mistakes that you've made. Right. And so it just go like, talk about unconditional love. It's like you try to understand what unconditional means, but it's, it's like you said, such a message that will stay forever of, of this message of unconditional love of literally was crucified from out of my love for you made right. myself human i'm i'm right an omnipresent god and was like i um, came to earth in human form right to go through all of this to endure all of this to both spread a message and also show this unconditional love right through sacrifice and you know death well i think benjamin franklin said nothing is nothing is certain except death and taxes <laughs> But forget the taxes part. It's just death is the only thing that's certain in life. Yeah. Just death. It's what we understand. It's what we'll always understand. It's what we value. Everyone values their life. And mm-hmm. and um, so I just, it was the biggest, you know, um, expression yeah. that you can make to give up your life. Yeah. And if, if you look at it, um, okay, so why did Jesus pay for our sins, but he was actually paying himself? I feel you often talk about just make it seem like a per- parent. Yeah. You know, would a parent pay his own self for, you know, for the for the child's life or death, a debt? Yes. Explain. Well, so if we just look back at the um the verse and it says for the son of man did not come to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom mm. for many. Yeah, well I think that first sentence we even, we haven't been walking through this, have we? <laughs> Because <laughs> you made Oops. fun of my printing. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, for even the son of man did not come to be served, but to serve. So that's exactly what I was saying of like, this was such an expression of being an omnipresent God. And, and, and it, this was never a, everyone bow down and serve me. It was like, it's all right. love. It's right. like, so he didn't come to say, I am here now. Now, anyone who talked bad about me, feel my wrath. And right. anyone who t- talked good about me, serve me. It was but to serve. It was like, you right. see it so many times in Jesus' stories when he like, washes the feet of the disciples. Right. And all those things. And it never goes to say we are equals, but it, it just is showing the unconditional love of someone. Right. Of God. And. Yeah, because it could be easy to feel when you think about God's greatness mm-hmm. and and humans flaws it could be easy to to feel that we're hate we could be hated you know for yeah. all we've done and all people even say it like oh what we've done to the earth you know like yeah. we've destroyed it and you could really feel hated but you know he says i i did not come to be served but to serve and the next line or the the end of the line could be i did not come to be paid but to pay you know because like we are always thinking like we pay him respect and pay him attention and pay him our tithing yeah. and we pay him and he's saying now i'm paying you mm-hmm. you know so he paid for our sins to be forgiven um so yeah it, reminding us just trying to get through to us that he loves us yeah and so for this current day when people say like yeah he loves us but he doesn't love these people and that's what we keep saying like well he he, he does. Do- he made a really, really big. He, do- <laughs> he made like a sort of big statement about yeah. it. His <laughs> unconditional love for all people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for sure. Um, yeah. And then, um, like I said, if, you, if you, it's all over the Bible in different ways. Yeah. And that's the problem. There's different. This was New International. There's different um, versions of the Bible where where you'll see it, but it's just a known fact that people say he paid for our sins, but um, that just boils down to he forgave them mm-hmm. not just the ones that had happened but he they're forgiven for the children who aren't born yet no that's a, a yeah he, it was the ultimate sacrifice or the yeah, the ultimate statement of statement yeah of forgiveness and also in a way a um uh a, a statement of faith i yeah. mean like even as even though he was his god on earth but going through life and living and spreading the message knowing that he he would be crucified for it he knew right and having no fear going into going back to where to to heaven you know right so it was like what am i afraid about and it's like so we all see it like or at least especially back yes. in the day oh my god he's being crucified like, right they're killing him and it's like right. you're, you're not you're just you're just getting rid of this earthly body right nothing's changing but thank let's you let's walk through thursday guys Thank you for that. Thank you, Jesus. So, of course, we can never repay that, but we can work every day in appreciation of it. We can work every day in appreciation of it. It's like the end of Braveheart, um, where he William Wallace sacrifices himself, and he's like on the table, like, freedom! And then after that, all of the Scottish people are riding behind that, and then they go off into battle. They don't bend the knee. Don't bend the knee. <laughs> I like it. Anyway, guys, we'll be back tomorrow for Fun Friday. Um, yeah, peace, love, prosperity. Middle children, unite. Middle, middle children, <laughs> shout out. I want to see those. Com- I want to see those comments. Am I a middle child? Peace.